What's the difference between Commander Shepard and a Krogan? One is an unstoppable juggernaut of head-butting destruction. And the other doesn't have a smart-ass comm officer to keep him in line. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome back to Mass Effect 3. This is Hill here with Sendarius Shepard. And we have just returned from the consensus or the matrix, depending on how you want to look at it. Then we need those ships to recover life pods. There'll be more manual running salvage on the dreadnought. We're not letting people in life pods die just so you can rummage through gas debris. They might already be dead. It's not your call to make. Admiral, any tech we can recover gives us an edge against the Geth. If you care about our people. Ooh. Then we need those ships to recover life. All right, let's talk to Admiral Voss Normandy. Then you can always send a salvage team later. Unless there isn't a later because we're defeated due to a lack of Geth technology. Fine. I'm diverting ships to rescue life pods. As soon as they're finished, I want them back. Thanks, Shepard. <laughs> so what if I wanted renegade points, though? It's like you don't get... If you intervene, usually you get Paragon for these things. Oh, well. Let's keep moving. Keep moving. All right. Oh, she didn't... We've got reports of trouble at a Turian fuel depot in Sion. I've updated the galaxy map. All right, thank you. But we're right on a mission right now. Let me just take a, a brief break here because Tally said we could summon her up. Let's talk to Tally. Catch up. Tally, I'm free if you'd like to come up. I'll just be a moment. Thanks for asking me up. I couldn't talk freely in front of Ron. You okay? No. No, I'm really not. Seventeen million lives are riding on me. And I don't know if I can save them. Paragonic toward the people he cares about. It's not your responsibility. You're doing everything you can. If the fleet falls, it won't be because of you. I helped my father and... And Zen's ideas, the new tech that made an invasion too good to pass up, that's based on my father's work. If they die because of me, if... if I don't... We'll get them out of there safely, Tally. I couldn't do this without you, Shepard. I feel like I'm bluffing, trying to convince them that the Admiral's daughter knows what she's doing. Not the Admiral's daughter. The Admiral. I know. And at <laughs> least now, I can push back against the worst ideas. That's why I accepted the position. And because of you. Me? When they offered me this position, I asked myself what you'd do. I thought you'd take the chance to make things better. That probably sounds stupid. It's just, I know I'm not really qualified for this. You're doing fine, Tally. And thanks. I should get back before the Admirals get into trouble again. I'll talk to you later. All right, so we had our private conversation with Tally. Oh, energy drain is unlocked. Nice. Okay, look at our fish. They're doing well. All right, this is wonderful. And we have our, our chef downstairs that is, comes up here and feeds them. So, invite trainer up? Uh, I don't want to lose these opportunities. Let's go ahead and do it. Trainer, if you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours free. Would you like to come up? Your cabin is gorgeous. I've seen apartments smaller than this. Well, Commander, ready to play? Play? I picked up a chessboard on the Citadel. Gooey interface, not nearly as nice as real pieces, but this takes up less space. And I recall you delivered something that closely resembled a challenge. So, interested? 
Hmm. I have a bad feeling. This is a trap, isn't it? I'm just a simple lab scientist, Commander. I'm sure your real-world expertise will give you an edge. She sounds very confident. Ha! Oh, come on! <laughs> My word, Commander. It's almost as though you wanted to spare your pawns the indignity of living under my regime. In real life, that tactic would have worked. Well, in real life, one doesn't move on an 8x8 eight eight square grid. You know what I mean. The pawns are infantry. A good infantry line, like the Krogan, can take a charge like that. That reminds me of a joke. What's the difference between Commander Shepard and a Krogan? One is an unstoppable juggernaut of head-butting destruction. And the other doesn't have a smart-ass comm officer to keep him in line. Ooh, that's even better than the number of testicles punchline. Oh, God. I'm glad you didn't run back to the lab, trainer. Thanks. So, rematch? Hell yes. She's a little bit flirtatious, uh for someone um, who was into women. But anyway. Uh, Alright, so I think this episode is just going to be about inviting people up to Shepard's cabin. Next! James, I've got some time if you want to talk privately. On my way. Hey man, how's it going? Good, James. You? Good, good. Wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. <laughs> you just come up here to make fun of your commander? Sorry, Shepard. I guess... Maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Shoot. What did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or did you think about it before accepting? Hmm. It was a no-brainer. I'm a soldier, Vega. And I wanted to be the best damn soldier I could be. It doesn't get better than N7. So I hear. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments. And they expect the best in return. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Well... Even all the shit that's going on, somebody, somewhere, managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier's the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. Hell, I'd have kicked my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone. And they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. So, what happened exactly? You mentioned that before. What went wrong? What didn't go wrong? We were out on patrol, checking on some strange readings, and the collectors hit. But they hit the colony first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike, but before we could, we were betrayed. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the Collectors. I had no choice. I killed him and destroyed the Collector ship. But it got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. Not exactly a textbook operation. Hmm. All right, he's going to give him some encouragement. You still did the right thing. You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. And if you were promoted, then something must have gone right. Sure, but... If you'd saved them all, would things have worked out better? I... I don't know. I don't think so. The right choice is usually not the easy one. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yeah. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. 
There's not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed, either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? Hmm. That's up to you. Only you can make that decision, James. But I think you already know the answer. I'm glad you think so. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Of course not. Gracias. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here, it's a little too soft for me. The bed's a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> now, I'll take your word for it. Thanks again, Shepard. Anytime. Oh, gosh. Okay. <gasps> Carnage unlocks. Wow. Okay. So it's a good thing I started these conversations. Is there more? Who else? What just happened? Nothing. All right, I think that was our last uh, visitor. And what is this here? Stereo control, and this is stereo control too? All right. Okay, so there we are, having intimate conversations with the crew and unlocking bonus powers. I still can't get over these fish. It's just so good to see them alive. All right. Well, this is going to be a very short episode, and I apologize for the, the brevity of it. Um, unfortunately, there's no one else to talk to. So in our next episode, we will return to Rannoch for our final confrontation with the Geth and the Reaper. So until next time, this is Hill, and I'm out.